All right guys, so today we are decluttering my lip products. I did wanna go ahead and show you a before of my drawers, just so you could like see the before and after we declutter because I find that quite satisfying. So this is my first lip drawer. And then this is my second lip drawer, and I also have a lot of lipsticks like out on top of my vanity. But I'm just gonna go ahead and like pile all of those in with everything on my carpet, and then we're gonna start the decluttering process. Alright, so here are all of my lip products. This is probably 99% of my lip products. There might be a few things floating around here or there, like in a purse or my filming desk or something like that, but this is pretty much everything. So I am going to kind of organize this a little bit into like categories just so we have some kind of system going on. And I will go ahead and say that all of these lip scrubs, I will be keeping all of my Jeffree Star and Lush lip scrubs. So I'll go ahead and take those out and then we'll start like swatching and all that. I'm also keeping my lip scrub and lip balm from Glam Glow as well. Alright, so we can go ahead and get these palettes out of the way because I know that I'm going to keep them, but I will do a few swatches for you. So this first palette here is from The Body Shop. It has four shades in it, and these are all super, super beautiful. They're more like light washes of color. Um, as you can tell, but they're perfect for summer and I just got this from TJ Maxx So I'm definitely keeping this for sure this next palette I actually am going to get rid of because the packaging just like busted on me So I was gonna keep this but not anymore um, The hinge right here just kind of came undone. This is old anyway, and I don't really reach for this that often So I probably do need to declutter this anyway, but these lip products are beautiful i'll do like a couple of swatches for you they are a very very pigmented and creamy and so beautiful but we will be decluttering that this next palette is from maybelline this is a lip gloss palette and i really like this palette it is pretty messy though and i don't find myself reaching for it that often so i am going to declutter this this palette, however, I am totally keeping. This is the Pixie and it's Judy Time lip palette. The shades in here are so beautiful. I got this from TJ Maxx and they have almost like a semi-matte-ish kind of formula. They're really, really pretty. They have a sheen to them, but they're not like glosses. So I really, really like that about this palette and I will definitely be keeping it. Next, I'll go through this little container thing right here. All right, so we've got these Bite Beauty Lush Lip Wipes, and I do really like these for helping to get lip color that's like stained on my lips off, but I just don't find myself reaching for these, so I am going to declutter those. These are all of my like lip balm kind of products. I have the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Balm. I love this so much. I have a little Sugar uh, Rose Fresh Lip Balm. I have a Lush one in Sugar Plum Fairy. I have this Super Goop Lip Sunscreen that I just got and I should have brought this with me when I went to the Keys, but it's just like a clear gloss that has SPF 50 in it. So that's really, really nice. Um, I have a Bite Beauty Lip Agave mask that I'll keep and a little brush that I'll keep. And this Bitch Sticks, I just got this in Oklahoma actually. So it's just like a lip balm that's pink lemonade scented. So I am going to keep that as well, but I'll go ahead and toss the box. I have some of these products here from Bite Beauty. These are the Agave Lip Masks. 
and this is an agave lip balm and lip scrub. I've had these for so long and I haven't used them. And I have this agave lip mask, which I also haven't used yet. So I think I'm going to pass the samples along and keep the little mini lip mask that I have here. Over here, I've just got some Lush lip balms. I've got this really pretty one called Latte. This is like so old, but <laughs> it's so pretty and it still smells good. So um, this is like a crazy lip product that I definitely want to keep. These two lip balms, I have Whipstick and I have Buttered Brazils and these don't like have any color payoff, but I am going to keep those. Over here, I have some more lip balms. I have this Lip Shit lip balm that I got when I was in Idaho, and it's in Black Cherry Papaya. And this is just like another potted lip balm, which I'm going to keep. This one is the Rosebud Salve from Smith's, and I used a lot of this, but I actually don't think I want to keep this, so I am going to declutter this and then just use like these potted lip balms instead. I kind of got sick of Rose after using that Smith's one so much. And then in the middle here, I have a couple of these YSL Tintin oils. These are both in the same shade. I have like a little mini and then the full size, so I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep these Loud and Clear lip balms from Bare Minerals. They literally have barely any pigment to them, but I'll go ahead and show you. They're like really pretty, <laughs> actually. Um, I'm not even sure if you can really tell. There's one here and one here, but they're super pretty on the lips and very moisturizing. And then I just have this thing, which is called a Tinty's Lip Butter, and that, this is from Anthropology from a while ago, and this is in the shade Coral, and that just got really weird on my hand because of the, um, makeup remover wipe that I just wiped on my hand, but I am going to keep this. All right, moving on to the next section. We'll go ahead and go through these products right here. I've got a couple of glosses from Bare Minerals and I'm going to keep all three of these. And then I have a bunch of lip liners in here. I have this Becca one and this is in the shade Biscotti. And this is like really pretty and unique and it's not like anything that I have. So I'm definitely gonna keep the Becca one. I'm gonna keep this Smashbox one because I don't have another red lip liner. So definitely gonna keep that. This is in the shade Crimson. Sorry, my camera cut me off, but as I was saying, I am keeping all of my Wet n Wild gel lip liners. I have two in the shade Bear to Commit. Comment, Bear to Comment, what the heck. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch this one. So that is Bare to Comment. This one is Gone Burgundy. And this one is Never Petal Down. Oh no, oh, that sucks. Okay, there is a Never Petal Down. I have this Marc Jacobs one in the shade. This is in the shade Primrose. And I am definitely keeping that. I'm keeping this Laura Mercier lip liner in the shade Naked. That is literally so pretty. So I have two of these clear lip liners. I have this one from Bite Beauty, and then I have this one from Urban Decay, and I don't really need both of them. I don't know. I think I'll keep the Urban Decay, and I'll get rid of the Bite, Bite Beauty one. I have some lip liners from Essence. I have the shades In the Nude, Honey Berry, and Wish Me a Rose. I'm going to keep all of those. Oh, I also have the shade Cute Pink from Essence, and I will keep that one. I have this one from Jordana, and this is in the shade Rose Crush, and I'm definitely going to keep that. This one is by Jordana, and it's in the shade Silver Lilac. 
I'm actually going to get rid of silver lilac because I don't ever wear a color like that at all, honestly. And if I do, I'll just use this essence one. Sorry if you can hear the um, thunder. Um, I'll just use this essence one instead of this Jordana one, so I'll get rid of that. I have this Tarte one, and this is a really pretty berry shade in the color Mood Ring, and I'll keep that. This one I was like gonna declutter, but then I didn't. It's by Barry M. And it's like this super cool tone pink. And I'm gonna keep that just because uh, I don't have anything like that. And then this one is from NYX. And this is actually kind of similar. This is in the shade Dolly Pink. I specifically bought this for some reason. Like someone said they liked it. Um, I don't remember who, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it anyway. Now we can move on to liquid lipsticks. These are all of my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I have actually like four more in this thing right here. And I'm going to keep all of my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I'm not going to get rid of any of those. The rest of my liquid lipsticks are right here. And then in this little compartment, I believe, there might be some in here. So I'm going to go through those and like lay them all out on this rug and then we can start going through my liquid lipsticks. Okay, so I think that these are the rest of my liquid lipsticks. There, We might come across a few later on, but I'm pretty sure that these are all of them. So, whew, let's go ahead and start. So, I have a couple of these Too Faced Melted Liquefied Lipsticks. I think I have, I guess I have four of them. So, these three are metallic, and this one is just like the regular one. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. Okay, so here are the swatches starting from the top moving down. We have Melted Peony, we have Metallic Chocolate Diamonds, Meta Melted Metallic Dream House, and Melted Metallic Tutu. So I'm definitely going to get rid of this Peony one because it, the formula is like really weird. So I'm going to declutter that one. This chocolate one is just so cool. So I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. And then these two, I never wear these shades. I'm going to put them in the maybe pile. And then if I have something similar, then we'll like compare and like just choose one. I don't know. These are going to go in the maybe pile. All right. All of my tattoo junkies lip liquid lipsticks are definitely staying i have these four right here these are literally so amazing i have skinny dip gold digger famous and pucker up these are all so beautiful and amazing and i'm definitely keeping these and i'm also keeping the glitters that come along with them i am interested in trying more of the tattoo junkies uh makeup products they came out with like a bunch more makeup products so i'm definitely keeping all of those and we'll be trying more of their products in the future let's get my kat von d lipsticks out here so i have four of the kat von d liquid lips i have two full sizes in the shades bow and arrow which is like so pretty it's very cool toned and taupey and then i have the shade lovecraft which is probably my favorite um, Kat Von D liquid lipstick that I have. Actually, it is my favorite. So I'm going to keep those two. Now, these two, on the other hand, I'm not so sure about. This one is in the shade K Dub, and it's like a super bright purple. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. And then this one is in the shade Vampira, and I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter that one as well just because I don't really wear a ton of shades like that and I have some other ones. Okay, we have three from MAC and I actually just got these. My mom just gave them to me. Um, this one is literally gray. Like, it's actually gray. This is in the shade Flesh Stone. This one is in the shade Divine. Divine? I'm not sure if it was supposed to be on there twice. That's a really pretty pink shade. And then this one is in the shade 2 Matte with Love. And this is probably like my favorite out of the three. 
and I think I'm going to keep these two and then put the gray one in the maybe pile. I'm, I'm probably never going to wear that gray color, but like just in case, I kind of want to keep it. I have three lip products from Ciate. We have this glitter flip, which I am definitely keeping. This is so cool. You like press your lips together and all this glitter shows up. This is in the shade Candy. I have two of the Liquid Velvets. I have the shade Voodoo, which is another one of these like vampy shades, which I'm going to declutter. I also have Pinup, which I am going to keep. That's a really, really pretty shade right there. I have two from Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale from BH Cosmetics, and I am keeping both of these. I have the shades Milan, which is right here, and then I have the shade London, which is more of a peachy color right there. So I'm going to keep both of those. I have two from Anastasia. I have the shades Soft Lilac and Milkshake. These are both liquid lipsticks. This one is Soft Lilac, and this super pale one is milkshake and I'm going to keep both of those. I have this Stay Matte liquid lip color from Rimmel and I don't know, I just never reach for this. I think I got this in like a Target beauty box. It's really nice, I just never reach for it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. I think I got this from Influencer and this is like such a pretty color i think and i really like the formula of these but again i never reach for these if i usually reach for liquid lipstick i'm gonna reach for a jeffree star one so i'm gonna pass the maybelline one on i have this one from bare minerals in the shade infamous this is like a cute little one um I think I'll put this in the maybe pile. I have this Vel Vivid Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Nude Flush from Maybelline. And this is kind of like a whipped formula and this gets on my teeth all the time so I'm actually going to declutter that. I have the Bunny Tarte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Texas Toast and I am definitely keeping that. It's a very gray shade but definitely keeping that. I have Queen Bee from Too Faced. That's like kind of a similar shade right here. It's similar to Texas Toast, but I'm going to keep that as well. I just got this. I haven't even worn it yet. I have this Stila Liquid Lip, and this is like a bright red. And this is in the shade Beso. And I am going to declutter this because if I'm going to wear a red, I'm going to wear my Jeffree Star. I have this Too Faced liquid lip in the shade sellout i'm gonna keep that that's like a really pretty color i have this tart liquid lip in the shade get out and or get it not get out and i actually just wore this in a video recently and i got some compliments on it so i'm going to keep this and then this is a tartus lip paint in the shade delish this is like a little mini and that's kind of dark but i'm gonna go ahead and keep it now we'll go ahead and do like lipstick tubes so all of these ones are brand new to my collection i have recently purchased all of these Too faced peach lipsticks i have literally nine of them so i'm definitely keeping all of those i did swatch all of these in the tj maxx and marshall's haul that i bought them in so you can check that video out if you want to see swatches of all those these i also swatched in my most recent high-end makeup haul these are the Too faced uh, 20th birthday lipsticks and these are literally so beautiful so definitely keeping those i have kat von d Studied Kiss Lipstick in the shade Lolita. Definitely keeping that. And I have, this is one of those $8 lipsticks from Sephora. This is in the shade, May, oh. This is in the shade 1 Brunch Date. And this is so pretty. I love this. I feel like this is going to be my everyday nude. I just have to actually put it on my lips. I'm keeping all of my Jeffree Star lipsticks i have some from the summer 2017 collection here and then in this container over here i have uh some more right here a holiday one and these were like kind of like valentine's day kind of time 
Um, let's see, what else do I have here? I have a couple of YSL lipsticks. I have the shades 09 or 60, I'm not sure. I feel like that's 09. I'm going to keep that. And I also have the shade 19 and I am keeping that as well. I have some of these Milani lipsticks. So we've got, these are all dusty because I've never used these. This is a matte beauty. That's really pretty, but I'm probably not gonna wear that. So I'm gonna declutter that. This one is in Cabaret Blend. Cabaret Blend? Um, that's really, really pretty. But again, probably not gonna use it, so I'll get rid of that. This one is in the shade Matte Innocence, and I'm going to keep that shade because that's actually something I would wear. This is Nude Cream. That's really, really pretty. Definitely keeping that. This is Matte Blissful. Um, it's a little bit more purpley than I would like, so I'll get rid of it. And this is Matte Darling. That is stunning, so definitely keeping that one. And my other lipstick from here is the Too Faced Unicorn Tears, which I am, of course, going to keep. All right, the rest of my full-sized, like, tube lipsticks are in here, so let's go through these. Um, I have all of these MAC lipsticks, and I'm going to keep all of them. I have Cream Cup, which is, like, this is, was my all-time favorite lipstick for the longest time. It's so pretty. I have to keep that. I have St. Germain, another, like, this is, like, a crazy color, but it, like, brings me back. So I gotta keep that. This is Whirl. This is really pretty. And then I have two from the Ellie Golding collection. This is Only You. And this one is Without Your Love. So yeah, I'm gonna keep all of those. I have this NARS lipstick in the shade Dolce Vita. And this is so pretty. Why don't I wear this? Wow, that's really sheer actually. Huh. I'm gonna keep that. This is by Laura Mercier. This is in the shade French Kiss. That's really pretty. Need that. This is by Givenchy. My friend Bethany bought this for me. She was so nice, oh my gosh. Um, definitely keeping that. This is the Katie Cat Matte Lipstick in the shade Sphinx. And I recently got this, and I haven't really worn it too much, so I'm going to keep that. Um, uh, let's go to these Bite Beauty ones. This is in the shade Zin. And let's see. That's a really pretty shade. Um, I'm actually going to wipe these swatches off and then, like, compare all of these. All right, so we have the shade Zin, which is really pretty. We have the shade... Vo Vovere. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. Um, that's so pretty. Definitely need that one. This is Musk. That's really pretty too. And this is Pepper. Oh, that's so pretty too. Do I need all of those? Yeah, I think I do. Ugh. Okay, this is by Estee Edit. This is the Lip Flip. This is like the black transformer shade. I don't think I'm ever gonna use that, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is the Rimmel Lipstick in the shade 05. I got this when I was in London. I am going to keep that. This is the Maybelline Lust for Blush. This is one of their like matte lipsticks. Definitely keeping that. I really want some more of these. Do they still make these like matte formula ones? This is the NYX lipstick in the shade Bling Bling. This is literally such a beautiful shade, but this is really old, so I need to get rid of that. This is the Urban Decay Roach lipstick. This is like the throwback one. I'm going to keep that. This is from Clinique. This is Matte Crimson, and holy crap, that's pretty. I'm going to keep that. This is by Kat Von D. This is in the shade... Foiled Love Lipstick. This is really pretty, but I don't need it, so I'm going to get rid of it. 
This is by Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Breakaway. And this is really pretty, but it's like all like funky and weird. Like it, it's too melty, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then all of these Urban Decay lipsticks I'm going to keep. This is Fiend. These are like the older lipsticks, the revolutionary lipsticks. I freaking love this formula. So I'm going to keep all of them. That was Fiend. This is Native. This is Naked 2. So pretty. This is Stark Naked. This is a matte one. Love that. And this one is a sheer one in the shade Sheer Shame. And actually, I'm going to get rid of Sheer Shame because I don't really see myself wearing that. All right, so what we have left are lip glosses and these, like, pencil kind of products and these, like, mini lipsticks. So I think I'm going to do the these kind of products first and then we'll do lip glosses last. I really feel like I need to get rid of some of these because I literally never use any of these products. So let's get started. We have this Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Cathedral. It's really pretty, but I'm probably not going to wear that. So we're going to get rid of it. We have this little mini. Oh, this is like a lip stain from Sephora. This is so pretty. And it's like so tiny and cute. Like I kind of want to keep it. I don't know. I'll put it in the maybe pile. Um, we've got this Nude Sticks Magnetic Lip Color. That's way too dark. Never ever going to wear that. Declutter. Um, this is by Bite Beauty. This is in the shade Pomegranate. And that's really pretty but probably never going to wear it. So I'm going to declutter it. This is the e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade T Rose, and I actually really like that shade, so I'm going to keep that. This is the Bite Beauty Glacé Lip Cream, and this is literally so pretty. Definitely keeping that. And this is the same exact product. So I don't need two of them. I'll declutter one of them. I've got this NARS Cruella lip pencil thing that I don't really need. I've had that for way too long, so I'm going to declutter that. I have this Buxom Plump Line lip liner in the shade Hush Hush. And I'm going to keep that. That looks literally exactly like all of these shades, but it's fine. It's fine. We have this Nude Sticks in the shade Whisper, and that's a really cool color. I'm going to keep that. This is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Lumiere, and I'm going to keep. Okay, so we have a Bite Beauty little multiple stick in the shade Cashew. That's so pretty. I need that. We have another mini Abite Beauty lipstick in the shade Chai. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty, but I don't need it. I'm going to declutter it. I have two of these Tarte lipsticks. Let's swatch these. We have Set Sail. That's beautiful. I need that. And then we have Salt Life. Also beautiful. I need that. We have a YSL in the shade... 70 and that's literally so gorgeous. I have uh, this little mini Sephora lipstick and this is in the shade R04. I'm going to declutter that and then I have all of these Bare Minerals ones which I'm just gonna like go through and swatch these and keep the ones that I like. Okay so I ended up keeping all of them except for this really really pale one and then this like pinky kind of one but all the other ones I kept. Now we can move on to lip glosses. Okay so here are all of our lip glosses, our ridiculous amount of lip glosses. 
So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and take out all of my Too Faced lip injection lip glosses because these are my all-time favorite lip gloss ever. So I'm definitely keeping all of those. I'm also going to keep the Too Faced Lip Insurance Glossy. Okay, cool. So what could we do here? I have these Bare Minerals Moxie like du dual ended lip glosses. I'm going to declutter those. I'm also going to get rid of this Bare Minerals lip gloss in the shade Rule Breaker. I just don't really feel the need to keep that. I have this Bite Beauty lip gloss in the shade Honey, and this is so beautiful. Like, I don't know, you can't really tell, but it's like glittery and so pretty. So definitely keeping that. I have all of these Milani uh, like lip oils. Let me see if these still smell good. Okay, so I'm actually going to get rid of all of these. I had these on display. They're really, really pretty, but they kind of smell a little bit funny now, and these are really old. So I'm going to declutter those four. I am definitely keeping my Universal Gloss Balm from Fenty. This is one of my favorite glosses ever. I'm also keeping the Katy Perry Gloss in the shade... I think that this is in the shade, like, Catalope or something. But yeah, definitely going to keep that. I'm going to keep my Jouer Lip Topper in Sweet Tooth. That was the, uh, the Jeffree Star, like, collab with Jouer. I'm going to keep this little Dior Lip Maximizer Collagen Active thing. I'm going to get rid of this Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in the shade Trail Blazer, just because I don't really reach for it anymore. I have this Soap and Glory one, and it's the Sexy Mother Pucker lip gloss. So yeah, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep my six essence. These are called liquid lipsticks, but they are basically really pigmented lip glosses. So I'm going to keep all of those. I'm going to keep these Wet n Wild metallic liquid lipsticks, but they're kind of like lip glosses because they don't dry down matte. I'm going to actually get rid of these Makeup Forever lip glosses. I've had these for way too long, so those need to go. I'm going to keep this Stila one in the shade Citrine. This is like a really pretty glittery gloss. You probably won't be able to tell on camera, but I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep this Jouer lip gloss in the shade Beverly super pretty. I'm going to keep this Anastasia lip gloss in the shade, what shade is that? Kristen. I'm going to get rid of this NYX butter gloss. It's just too old. I'm going to keep this Sephora gloss. It's just like a nice nude gloss. I'm going to keep this Marc Jacobs gloss, another pretty nude gloss. This one from Collab. I don't know why I bought this. I'm going to get rid of that. These Urban Decay ones I'm going to keep. I have the shades Anarchy and Liar. I guess I'll go ahead and swatch these. That one is Anarchy. And this one is Liar. I love Liar. That's so pretty. This Laura Mercier lip gloss, or lip gloss in the shade tulip i am going to keep that this urban decay hi-fi shine ultra cushion lip gloss is like really cool looking definitely going to keep that it's like purple and pink and blue glitter and then this stila kitten lip gloss i am totally gonna keep and then the other lip glosses i have here are these bite beauty ones and I never freaking use these, so I'm going to swatch these off camera and then show you which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to get rid of. Okay, so if we're being honest, these are all really old and they all still smell fine, but I feel a little bit uncomfortable using these, so I'm just going to bite the bullet and declutter all of them. 
As far as the maybes go, I'm going to get rid of these two Too Faced liquid lipsticks and I'm going to keep these three products. Now I'm going to reorganize everything and I will show you the finished product and I'll show you the pile of what we're getting rid of and then I'll show you everything that we are keeping. All right, so this is everything that we are keeping and then this is everything that we are getting rid of. So now I'm going to organize all this stuff and put it back in the drawers and then I'll show you the final product. Okay, so here is my new lip balm and lip scrub drawer. This doesn't look a whole lot different other than maybe this section. This next drawer is where stuff changed. So this is what this drawer looks like now. I was able to con condense all of my lipsticks into that lipstick holder back there. I got rid of so much from this little compartment. I got rid of a ton of glosses. There's so much like room for growth now and then I also freed up a lot of liquid lipstick space and then the rest of my lip products are displayed on my vanity which I'm not going to show you right now because it is a complete mess and it is very very embarrassing but whew, we did good today this is everything that we decluttered we filled up this basket completely oh my goodness that's a lot of lip products and then this just has my lip palettes and some other random stuff but yeah, this is everything that I decluttered. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I will be decluttering the rest of my makeup collection very, very soon. So keep an eye out for those videos. I love you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.